Welcome back. You're watching the Financial Planner. Remember, if you want to write into our show, you can email us at financialplanner@utvmoney.com. Now we have with us Harsh Rungta, the CEO of Apnapaisa.com. Harsh, we have a term buster over here, and one of the terms we keep hearing is power of attorney. What does that mean? The power of attorney means uh, the person giving the power of attorney authorizes somebody else mm -hmm. to do certain things on his behalf, mm -hmm. and typically this is done to. Facilitate a transaction. Mm. I mean, the simplest example is uh, somebody who's an NRI mm. uh, who's staying overseas wants to do a transaction in India, can't come down himself. Yeah. He gives a power of attorney to say his father, mother, brother mm. uh, to do that transaction on his behalf. Or if I'm selling a house and the house is in my name, but I'm not around, I can give you. the power of attorney and say hey harsh i, I would i would welcome that <laughs> <laughs> here take the power of attorney go sell my okay. home but uh, that's what a power of attorney is now is can something go wrong with this what's the legal recourse for this well it can so the uh, power of the person who gets the power of attorney mm -hmm. is uh, only is defined by the document so you can put conditions that you want to put right. and on, only to that much extent the powers are there okay so uh, really of course things can go wrong people mm -hmm. can abuse the trust that you have in them right uh, but typically in large transactions things rarely go wrong right. so i mean uh, sure it can go wrong mm. but normally they don't they don't really go wrong and uh, in case there's a problem there's a problem of misuse of the power of attorney what's my recourse who do i go to the courts so i think uh, it's very difficult to give a generalized answer to that mm -hmm. it will really mm -hmm. depend on what is the misuse and whether right. the party who benefited from the misuse right. was uh, knowing about that misuse so i okay. think really so it's difficult to give a very uh, specific answer to that question mm -hmm. all right cool so i think we've come to the end of the show but we you know we always like to wrap up with final thoughts on you know what you like to uh what you saw in terms of women and investing is there anything in particular that you would like to tell our women viewers out there i'd be curious to hear that so i think uh, from personal experience i can tell you that uh, the women who think about saving for example my wife yeah uh, they very disciplined yeah uh, and uh, they really uh, specialize in keeping the contingency fund that we spoke about they're very good at that they're very good yeah. at that yeah if at all they just acquire a little bit knowledge of making that contingency fund work yeah. they might realize that it no longer is a contingency fund mm. it can really become a pretty decent fund as has happened in my case right right uh, and i think women should take advantage of this a little bit of knowledge right uh, combined with the discipline and the savings habit that they have right. can really work wonders and speaking of little bit of knowledge that's what this show hopes to do and uh, hopes to bring you a little bit of knowledge about various aspects aspects of investing remember financial planner is all about talking money and all about talking about how to make your money work for you harsh many thanks for coming here thank you harsh rumta is the ceo of apnapaisa.com he's also a regular guest on the show that's it for now thank you for watching bye